Welcome to a journey that might just change your life. Did you know that the average person spends over 90,000 hours at work in their lifetime? That's about a third of your life. But what if I told you that you could drastically reduce those hours and still live a fulfilling, rich life? This is not a fantasy. It's the core idea of Tim Ferriss's revolutionary book, The 4-Hour Workweek. We're diving into a world where working endless hours isn't the badge of honor. It's a thing of the past. Imagine having the freedom to travel, pursue your passions, and spend time with loved ones, not someday, but now. Sounds incredible, right? In this series, we'll unravel six life-changing strategies from Ferris's book. From mastering the art of outsourcing to taking mini-retirements, we're covering it all. You'll learn how to work smarter, not harder, and how to design a lifestyle that's not just about earning money, but about creating unforgettable experiences. But wait, there's more. We're not just talking theory here. You'll get practical tips, real-life examples, and some surprising stats that'll make you rethink the way you live and work. Ready to break free from the 9-to-5 grind and design your dream life? Let's get started on this exciting adventure. Chapter 1. Discovering the New Rich Lifestyle Welcome to our journey into the New Rich Lifestyle a concept that'll turn your view on life and work upside down. Did you know that being rich isn't just about having tons of money? It's more about living richly. Tim Ferriss in The 4-Hour Workweek introduces us to this idea. He says, money is multiplied in practical value depending on the number of W's you control in your life. What you do, when you do it, where you do it, and with whom you do it. This means having the freedom to make choices. The new rich are folks who figured out that life isn't about a fat bank account. It's about having the time and freedom to do your favorite things. Picture this, living where you want, working when you prefer, and spending time with people you love. Sounds like a dream, right? But it's totally possible. One cool thing about this lifestyle is how it values experiences over possessions. It's not about owning a fancy car, but maybe about driving one in a beautiful place. Ferris explains that the new rich think in terms of time and mobility instead of only money. It's all about creating a life that's packed with meaningful experiences. So, how do you start? First, understand what you really want in life. Is it travel? More time with family? Learning a new skill? Once you know, you can start designing your life around these passions. Remember, it's not a one-size-fits-all deal. Your rich life is unique to you. Lastly, Keep in mind that this isn't just a fantasy. It's a practical, achievable lifestyle. As Ferris puts it, the goal isn't to create a business that is as large as possible, but rather a business that bothers you as little as possible. That's the new rich way. Chapter 2. The DEAL Strategy All right, let's dive into the DEAL strategy. It's the secret sauce to a four-hour work week. First up is definition. Defining what you want is crucial. You need clear goals. Without them, you're like a ship without a rudder. As Ferris says, what you do is infinitely more important than how you do it. Efficiency is still important, but it is useless unless applied to the right things. Next, we have elimination. It's about cutting out the noise. Did you know, according to Ferris, that 80% of outcomes come from 20% of the efforts? That's the Pareto principle at play. Eliminate the non-essential tasks that don't contribute to your major goals. It's about being productive, not just busy. Then comes automation. This part is cool. You set up systems to handle tasks without you. It's like having a mini robot army doing stuff for you. Ferris points out, the goal is to find your inefficiencies in order to eliminate them and to find your strengths so you can multiply them. Automation frees up your time for bigger and better things. Finally, liberation. This is where you free yourself from traditional expectations. Imagine working from a beach or a cafe, not just an office. Liberation is about creating a work environment that fits your lifestyle, not the other way around. This strategy isn't just about working less, though. It's about working smart. It's about making sure every hour you work is powerful and purposeful. Ferris reminds us, being busy is a form of laziness lazy thinking, and indiscriminate action. Let's be smart, not just busy. So there you have it, the DEAL strategy in a nutshell. It's about creating a lifestyle that's efficient, fulfilling, and yes, exciting. 
Let's redefine success, shall we? Chapter 3. The Magic of the 80-20 Rule Now, let's talk about a super cool concept, the 80-20 Rule, also known as the Pareto Principle. This rule is like a secret key to unlocking efficiency. The idea is simple yet powerful. 20% of your efforts lead to 80% of your results. Sounds crazy, right? But it's true. Did you know that this principle is named after an Italian economist, Vilfredo Pareto? He noticed that 20% of the pea pods in his garden produced 80% of the peas. Fascinating, isn't it? Ferris applies this to life and work, suggesting that we focus on the 20% of tasks that bring us the most results. So how do you use this in real life? Start by looking at your tasks. Ask yourself, which of these are bringing me the most results? These are your golden 20%. Focus on them. Cut down or delegate the rest. It's about working smarter, not harder. Tim Ferriss puts it brilliantly. Being selective, doing less, is the path of the productive. It's not about how many things you do, but about doing the right things. This principle helps you prioritize your actions based on their impact. Remember the 80-20 rule isn't just about work. It's about life too. Apply it to your hobbies, your health, even your relationships. Focus on what brings you the most joy and value. In short, the 80-20 rule teaches us a valuable lesson. More effort doesn't always mean more results. It's about finding and focusing on what truly matters. Let's embrace this and make our lives not just busy, but meaningful. Chapter 4. Embracing Mini Retirements Now let's turn our attention to a radical idea mini retirements. We've all been sold the save now, retire later mantra. But what if I told you that you don't have to wait until you're 65 to enjoy life? Enter the concept of mini retirements, a gem from the four-hour work week. The idea is simple but profound. Instead of one long retirement at the end of life, why not take shorter periodic retirements throughout your life? It's about distributing your leisure over your lifetime, as Ferris advises. Imagine taking a couple of months off every few years to travel, learn a new skill, or just relax. Ferris argues, the timing is never right. There is never a good time to leave a job, break up, have children, or move to the country. You must act more and think less. This means taking the leap and embracing life's adventures now, not later. The beauty of mini-retirements is that they allow you to recharge and experience life in different stages, not just when you're older. It's a way to ensure that you don't miss out on life's experiences. But how do you make this practical? Start by rethinking your budget. Save for these mini-retirements as you would for any other important life event. Plan them out. Where would you go? What would you do? The key is in the planning. Remember, it's not about escaping life, but about enriching it. Many retirements aren't just extended vacations. They're opportunities to grow, learn, and experience the world in ways you can't in your regular routine. To sum up, many retirements are about breaking free from the traditional life script. They're about living life fully at every stage. As Ferris puts it, life doesn't have to be so damn hard. It really doesn't. Let's take that to heart and live a life filled with rich experiences and adventures. Chapter 5 outsourcing life. Let's dive into the world of outsourcing life. It's a game changer from the four-hour work week that'll free up your time like never before. Tim Ferriss says, don't outsource your life. Outsource your less enjoyable and less profitable tasks. This means getting help with the stuff we don't need to do ourselves. Outsourcing isn't just for big companies. It's for you and me. Think about it. How many tasks do you do daily that someone else could handle? Ferris talks about hiring virtual assistants for everything from checking emails to booking flights. It's about using your time on what's most important. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that the virtual assistant industry is booming? It's expected to grow significantly in the next few years. More and more people are catching on to this smart way of living. But it's not just about work tasks. You can outsource household chores, shopping, even planning your workouts. Imagine having more time for what you love because someone else is handling the mundane stuff. The key is to identify tasks that consume your time but don't require your specific skills. These are your outsourcing opportunities. As Ferris puts it, what you do is more important than how you do everything else. 
and doing something well does not make it important. In a nutshell, outsourcing life is about valuing your time and focusing on your strengths. It's not laziness, it's smart efficiency. Let's embrace this and reclaim our time for what truly matters. Chapter 6. Setting Your Income on Autopilot Now let's explore the exciting world of income autopilot. The idea is simple yet life-changing. Create income streams that work for you, not the other way around. Tim Ferriss explains, The goal is to create automated income streams that do not require your presence. Imagine earning money while you sleep. The first step is to find or create a product or service that can be sold and delivered without your constant involvement. It might be an online course, an ebook, or even a physical product. The key is automation and scalability. Did you know that passive income is the holy grail of financial independence? It's a way to earn money continuously from work done once. It's not about getting rich quick. It's about building sustainable long-term income streams. But it's not just about the money. It's about freedom. With Income Autopilot, you free up time to pursue your passions, travel, or simply enjoy life. As Ferris says, freedom is the ability to deal with the consequences of your actions. Creating an automated income stream might seem daunting, but it's more achievable than ever in today's digital world. Start small, experiment, and scale up. It's about creating a system that works for you. In summary, setting your income on autopilot is about leveraging your time and skills to create ongoing revenue. It's a powerful step toward financial and personal freedom. Let's set our income to work for us, not the other way around.